on guys, hey, all you guys that have uh, bought coupons, I'm going to kind of try to show you how to fit one up. Uh, they're super simple. The thing is, the bevel machines are not 100% square, so uh, there, there might be a little fluctuation in like the walls and stuff. All I can say is it's going to make you a better welder in the long run anyway. So, in all these coupons, or in most of them, this seam, there's a seam. This does not have a seam in it. So, what you're going to do, okay. You're gonna get it on here, and you're gonna just kind of rotate it. Rotate the top to where the gap is pretty good all the way around it. The inside is good. Always fit to the inside. Always fit the inside. Okay guys, that don't look too bad. Now there might be just a little high low on the inside, but just try to split the difference between them. That's what we gotta do all day long anyway. Then what I do is I take a bandsaw or a, like a hacksaw blade or or a, like a sawzall. It's only I don't know, maybe a 16. I'm not sure. Throw it in here, but throw it in here pretty close to the front so that what it does is it's actually gonna make these coupons fall backwards just. Little, which is going to give you a bigger gap. If you need a less of a gap, put it a little bit, put it in the middle, which is going to even it out, which is going to make it a little less of a gap. If you need even less, move it back. It's wherever you put this spacer is kind of where your gap is going to be. Double check your inside again. Make sure that that's spaced good. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to run a tack in the front, take the spacer out. Where's our wedge? Oh, it's in my pocket. So you're going to run the one tack, take the spacer out, use a wedge or something to kind of pry up on the, on the opposite side. Get it where you want it, tack it, split the difference between the two of them, run two tacks, run four tacks tack these up so that way it don't pull or move on you too much and uh, that kind of gives you an idea on how to fit one up. Just kind of rotate it a little bit until you get the best fit that you can get and then weld it out. Alright, we'll talk to you here in just a little bit. Alright, we got Jed welding. He's doing a rollout right now. Down. Down. Okay guys, take the wedge out, take that spacing bar out of there, exactly what he just did. Here's we got, uh, both the helpers are testing right now, they're just kind of running a little mock test basically. Uh, they're competing against each other. So he gets that in there and now what he's doing, he's using his finger just to kind of get his gap where he wants it. I'm running this heat. Pull the wedge, and now he's going to split the difference side to side. You might have left your hammer over there. Oh, yeah. Woo! He figured it out. Guys, there's little tricks to it. A lot of it, when you run a bean in, run one-handed. That way you can kind of move with it. I mean, if it's, a, if it's a position well, we even usually go like this. You still are one-handed, but this just kind of helps with a little bit of pressure. On the top, once you get to the side, let it go and just one-handed, all the way to the bottom. All right, 40. Okay, guys, even when you practice, you need to practice like you're actually going to x-ray this and, and all that. We're going to see a full x-ray for it. Alright, start on the tack, then 
and then run into the in, into where you need to be well. Forty. Just a little bit on that, but that that would actually go. That'd be all right. Um, go ahead. Dang, guy! 
Hey, I think you got that figured out. You had to let sunburn on his neck. Yeah. Dang it. Protect yourself from the well. I thought it was only Tate that did this to you. No. Yeah, this was today. Okay guys, so not too bad. It actually looks pretty good. Uh, maybe a couple drop spots right there where like uh, might not like might have stepped out too far and then came back in and then didn't tie back into the top all that good. Uh, either it got really hot right there and he was stepping really fast, or uh, it just needs to tighten that up a little bit. That right there looks pretty freaking good. Uh, just the same thing, made it step down a little too far and then tie back into the front. But other than that, right here maybe got, uh, it didn't tie into e either edge right there, so it kind of built up in the middle. So what I would do right there is kind of grind that out and then work on the, on the stop. But yeah, other than that, that's all looking sharp. The root looks awesome. There is no problem with that root. There's only one spot right there. That little about three about three inch section right there. Kind of ugly, but other than that, that's just where it got really wide. But that's the root for the rest of it right there, guys. That there is nothing wrong with that root. <laughs> 